Okay, so this should be the Karyo video from um, the free download from RS Logics 5000 or 500. Um, so what this is is the micro light. Um, so if you have not seen that video, please stop this video and watch that one. Um, if this is on the YouTube channel, if it is on the web, my website, then you should see it later on in the article. Um, either way, you should be able to carry over and get the supplements, uh, everything that you need. So again, um, so now we have these three files, right? We have micro light um, uh, three uh, R eight three zero. We have the um, RS Logic Simulate 500. We have the RS Links Lite. So we'll go ahead and start uh, the download process. Now, while I'm doing these, I may stop the video and start them back just because they do take a while, especially RS Links. So we'll first go ahead and open this. So um, we'll run the file. It will say extract. Yes, we want to go ahead and extract it. Um, it will be obviously in its um, form of you know, actually, uh, you know, needing to, to be done. So, we'll go ahead and do this setup. And in the setup, this is going to be installing, um, again, this is going to be installing the actual um, micro light. So this is, this is going through the, um, um, basically the Rockwell, and this tells you, um, of course, I already have it installed, so I already have um, this version installed. As far as I have a higher version already, do I want to go ahead and do this? Um, I'm going to do it for the sake of you, you know your learning, um, so that way you can see the whole process. I do already have um, you know Rockwell licenses and stuff, but I have plenty of backups. Um, yeah, so it's wanting to do that. Um, no worries, you shouldn't see that because you won't have but one version. I actually have multiple versions, so. And now we should be able to download our install. So click next. This again is going to be the RS Logics Micro, uh, micro English um, 8.3. So you just uh, agree to the terms, come back and you say the organization, um, I'm going to say online uh, PLC support, just, uh, just so I know I have it. Um, you click uh, complete, it's fine, <clears throat> let it install, again sometimes this, this on a couple of these softwares it's going to take a little bit of time to install so I will stop the video. I believe this one is pretty short or pretty uh, quick so um, it finishes and it opens up um, obviously opens up a um, compatibility section the operating systems that it's it's able to run on and stuff of that nature so now let's go back to sorry about that let's go back to the kit and let's actually do the emulate so now we want to go to the emulate we want to let it extract if you don't have an extractor already, um, you can do that. Uh, you can get one. It, I mean, just Google extractor. Um, go in here and you want to click setup again. So this will be installing. Yes, I know. Um, I have a really, really strong antivirus. Um, I actually had to bypass these files so that my antivirus would accept them. But um, either way, and I'll go ahead and type in whatever you choose to type in I'm just putting in obviously my website um, then click click uh, complete and then install this one now again this is the um, RS logics emulate 500 this is not 5000 so don't mistake the two they are two different softwares once it is done it completes it again shows you the um, things that it can be used on um, the current enhancements and stuff. It just gives you a little tech note and you can kind of just go off that um, You click finish Once you do that um, you come back and The last one you want to do again is this RS links light This will be the most time-consuming one that you do. I will tell you that 
um, just because of the fact that it is a very, very large file. Um, so again, you want to extract it. Uh, you can already pre-extract it if you wanted to, but I will tell you that RS Links, is, it being it has a lot of EDS files, Harmony files, and stuff of that nature, it is very long. So don't um, don't get you know just have patience with it. I mean, because you you want to get this download, you want to make it work, right? So let's open up that and let's go to the setup disk. Okay, so now um, I want to go ahead and do the required steps. So you can, in here, you can install all this stuff if you need to. I'm not going to do that. I do not suggest doing any of this. Um, only thing I do suggest is doing is the um, install Lynx Classic. So uh, I already have a newer version, so I'm not going to actually install that because my version is newer than this one. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But all you have to do is hit install and it will install at this point. So um, after this, what you need to do is verify that these files have been in here. So verify that you come in here. Oh, sorry, I'm moving stuff around. Verify that you have the files in here. You should have, now you should have the emulate and you should have um, the RS Logics Micro English. Um, again, so this could be opened and used at this point, so it's completely safe to use. Um, so as this is going through it, um, let's see, I don't know if I clicked on it or not, so let's see, it should be popping up. There it goes. Oh, I dropped it. Okay, so this will Oh, and I closed it. Sorry. <laughs> Apologize. My apologies for clicking the wrong button. Um, so this will actually... Uh, it's really, really simple setup. Uh, this, again, is the uh, very, very limited version. So you should see right here that this is 8.0. Uh, it's registered a serial number to me um, under the provisions of it. It is free. Um, the current... Uh, software again I have two different versions so I'm not going to uh, illustrate that this can be used now you can actually make a project from it so you can actually go through and make a new project um, you can do all these micro uh, logics versions um, so this is just a micro logics so I will say that this is still a 500 compatible system so no worries on that right so you can easily just pick a project, make it, um, and start programming from that matter. And then when you come in here, you can actually use the uh, emulator. And okay, so um, and I, it's because you need to reboot after you actually install, so that's no big deal. But this is the emulator, and it come now actually using the emulator, I'll show you how to do that. So we'll come in here and build a file and kind of make some things happen but using the emulator you definitely need um, a couple things you need the RS links right so you need RS links already I have classic you're not gonna see classic um, you may not see you may see classic I don't know um, but apparently I need to reboot myself um, and install that so what I'm gonna do is actually shut this video off and I'm going to reboot my computer and reinstall the RS links. So um, just so you know that this is a fully compatible system um, and now you do have the software you can run. Um, and now what's next is you need to be able to learn how to emulate it. You need to learn how to use it so that you can, you can actually practice and stay along with the training videos that you see either on my channel or on other channels wherever you choose to learn. Um, this is just a an ability to give you to actually do this process. So again, um, I know the software, you know, a lot of people want free versions of this and that. This is one option they give you. So uh, take advantage of it because, again, this was updated on 9-28-2018. So who knows when they will stop it. I can't say that they're gonna ever going to have it, like, forever, but they do have it. So 
this is your way of programming for free so get some practice and do it um, be patient with it because it does take a long time to actually download and install sometimes so go through and make sure it works so again stay tuned stay tuned to the channel and stay tuned to uh, more articles on the website so we'll be building and showing you how to use this stuff again thank you for support thank you for being part of what i do all right thanks